We just got some breaking news a few minutes ago. OpenAI has announced that Dolly is exiting the research beta and entering into the beta program. They're going to be inviting 1 million people over the next few weeks. So if you've been wanting to try Dolly, you haven't been able to, if you've been on the wait list, you're waiting, the odds are getting a lot better. 1 million is a lot of people to be adding in, 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 in one batch in the next go. And it's probably only uphill from here. Now, on one hand, more people will be getting access, but also OpenAI has announced pricing as well as commercial licensing today as well. Uh, so in this video, we're going to go through the blog post, talk about the pricing model that they're proposing, as well as the licensing and stuff. So this news just broke. Um, and if, if you're looking to just figure out what the news is, that's the main news pricing model. They're going to start inviting more people. Um, and definitely my tip is if you're already on the wait list, I've been following along with the discord and I've heard from many people in the Dolly discord that a lot of people have just been reapplying on the wait list. So you didn't hear that from me, but I, from what I can tell, it doesn't hurt if you just keep reapplying. Hopefully that way you can get access to Dolly 2 yourself and try it. Uh, so anyways, going through the blog post. So every Dolly user will receive 50 free credits during their first month and 15 free credit refills. So this should be enough for you to hopefully try Dolly, get a taste of it, maybe build an intuition for the model. Again, you want to figure out what kinds of keywords, what kinds of modifiers, what kind of art styles interest you and make cool, interesting things with it. You might have a project in mind. So hopefully within that 50 range, there's enough credits there for you to make, make some meaningful progress. Now, I would have personally liked more credits, especially for new users. Right now, as a part of the research beta, where, you know, we have a very generous access to Dolly, it's actually we're getting 50 free credits a day. Um, and so I'm certainly used to having more credits uh, just as part of the research beta. But clearly, in order to scale this to a bigger audience, OpenAI is finding they have to basically restrict it so that everyone can get access to try Dolly. Um, so I'm a little bit torn about it, but that's just the situation we're in. Um, and just so you know, so what's a credit? So that means you can enter a search into Dolly and you know, it gives you four images at a time for each prompt or search that you enter. Um, and that's the same deal for when you're editing an image with Dolly or generating variations. Uh, they talk about the, you know, the different features Dolly has. Uh, and then jumping into pricing, OpenAI is saying you can buy additional Dolly credits, um, 115 credits or 460 images for $15. This is on top of the free ones you have. Um, I think $15 is not bad. The thing is though, the rate that I personally go through Dolly, I go through these images very quickly. Um, and so I, you know, I'm, I'm willing to pay. I just, uh, I, I think I may end up spending a lot more <laughs> than like what I had originally budgeted, what I thought the cost would be. But anyways, we'll see. I don't know. Like, you know, probably the model is also going to improve. So I will need less searches. My skills will also improve. Maybe I'll be become better at writing prompts. But anyways, that's the pricing model they're describing. And as of now, so users get full usage rights to commercialize the images they create with Dolly, including the right to reprint, sell, and merchandise. The, this includes images they generated during the research preview, which is what I'm a part of. And users are planning to use Dolly for all kinds of things like children's books, art for newsletters, concept art, characters for games, mood boards, consulting, various kinds of applications. Uh, and then towards the end, OpenAI sort of covers the different kinds of uh, safety features they've built into the into the Dolly product, such as curbing misuse, preventing harmful images, reducing bias, uh, as well as monitoring the, the usage of the platform itself. Uh, one thing that I, I do like about what OpenAI is doing is they've also said they're going to start subsidizing, they're, they're creating a program to help subsidize artists who, who cannot afford it. Um, I think this is awesome. Uh, definitely we want to give people opportunities and we want to do more to get Dolly in the hands of more people. Uh, so all in all, uh, that was the announcement today. Uh, it's exiting research beta, entering beta. 1 million new faces will be using Dolly and being excited. Um, they talked about what's going to be included. So uh, 50 free credits during your first month. Take full advantage of that. I encourage you to have fun. 15 free refills after that. 
uh, commercial licensing is here. And I guess the last piece was, was just the pricing as well. So in case you don't know, I run a podcast about this stuff. My YouTube channel is all about Dolly and GPT-3. Uh, I'm going to be expanding more on this announcement. Hopefully later today, I'll have a podcast episode talking about it. But anyways, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you want to stay in the know, you want to, you know, get close to the pulse of this space, I encourage you uh, follow me on Twitter at BAKZT Future and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and I'm going to do my best to keep you posted. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.